Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can export 3D models from Onshape into Simulink in just one minute. So stay with me and don't forget to like and subscribe. A Simulink multibody is an extremely useful software for making realistic simulations for your project. And you can create custom 3D models for pretty much everything. However, doing this inside Simulink can take a big chunk of your time. Since Simulink is not a dedicated software for 3D design, and it doesn't contain any tools for manipulating the parts except manually using the rigid transform blocks. This method of modeling is slow and far from intuitive. This is why I usually use Onshape, a free online based 3D modeling software that have many tools for creating, manipulating and connecting different parts for your 3D model. So let's try and import something from Onshape's public library. How about this door hinge, it looks good enough and it doesn't contain any errors or warnings. So go to the assembly tab and then copy the link and in the MATLAB just declare a variable and assign the link to it. After that call this function in MATLAB passing the link as argument and saving the output which is the XML file name. Please note that you will have to enter your email and password for the first time you're doing this, and that's it. The model step file will be downloaded along with their XML file that contains how exactly the different parts are posed and how they are connected to each other. The final and the most important step is to generate a Simulink model from these files. You can do this by calling the sim import function, passing the XML file name as an argument. Wait for a few minutes and there you go, a Simulink model ready for use. Ok this is fun, so let's try another one. Since this is a robotics channel, let's import this humanoid robot. Again, make sure to go to the assembly tab and copy the link. All you have to do at this point is to build a control system to make this humanoid robot walk. You get the idea. Anyways guys, this is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this quick tutorial, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you again in a new video with a new idea.